Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jackie and I'm a self-taught software engineer with a background in mechanical engineering and in this video I'm gonna show you my job search notion setup. Last time I applied to jobs was in 2021 and I think we all know how exhausting and soul crunching the process can be, especially if you're applying for a technical role because of the dreadful technical interviews. So I put together a Notion setup that can at least help you to stay organized and keep on top of things while you're going through it. Notion is actually sponsoring this video, which is awesome. Thank you so much to Notion for supporting my channel. Notion is basically a productivity tool that you can use on your own or you can use it to collaborate with the team. With Notion, you can write notes, you can create calendars and task lists and tables, and you can collaborate with other users on the platform as well. It is a really flexible and powerful tool that you can use however you want. I personally started using Notion during the pandemic in 2020, that's when I discovered them, and I have been using them pretty much a couple of times a week ever since. I literally have a workplace called Carmen's Brain, which is how I keep my life together. I use that for my personal goals and also to keep track of meter readings from my apartment for heating and cooling. I use it to script and plan my YouTube videos and my social media content in general, and I also use it for cooking recipes. I keep links to other resources, such as for example my personal finance spreadsheet in my Notion setup as well, just because I like to keep everything in one place so I can access and find it very easily. But the Notion setup that I want to dive into today is the job search planner. This is something that I did based on the setup that I had in 2021 to keep track of my applications, but I improved upon it and I added a few things which I thought could be helpful. So let's get started. The Notion setup starts with an application board, which I used to keep track of all of the application processes. In the to apply column, I listed all the companies that I wanted to apply to. And once I did apply for a job, I would move them to the applied column. If I got invited to an interview, for example, a phone interview or a coding assessment online, then I would move it into the interviewing stage. And then if I managed to pass these stages and if I was invited to an on-site interview, then I would move it to the on-site column. And here I would basically list the companies where if I was lucky, got an offer from. Then we have an interview planner. This is basically a calendar that would contain all the big events, namely the interviews that were going to take place. This is not really designed to have a daily task tracker, but rather to have an holistic overview of the schedule. I basically used it to add any interviews, any meetings or any phone calls that I was going to have, which were involved with the interview process. This is good because it gives you just a one-stop shop where you can check all of the major events that are coming up. If you open one of these, you can add a lot of properties to them. For example, you could have the URL of the Zoom call or the Google Meets or whatever, or you could add the email of the person that you're going to talk to. This is useful if you want to have all the information just in one place. And then we move on to the weekly planner. Once I had the big overview of the interviews and what was going to happen in the calendar, I then created a weekly planner. And this is where we're going to deal more with like the day to day tasks. For example, in this hypothetical scenario, in the week of the 23rd to the 29th of October, there are two big events. There's an on-site interview for company ABC, and there's a phone interview for a unicorn startup. In this section, I would highlight the important dates for the week, and then I would use the weekly columns to organize my tasks and basically my to-do list. For example, from Monday and Tuesday, there would be do lead code problems, answer emails, recap certain things in preparation for the interviews. And then on Wednesday, there would be the on-site interview. On Thursday, there's some follow-up emails and a task to prepare for the behavioral questions for the next interview. And then on Friday, there would be the phone interview. And then at the start of each week, I would simply reset the to-do list and I would change the dates and the title. And then this planner also has a study plan. Please ignore this no status stuff. This is like some old cards I had here and I just was too lazy to delete them all. So I just put them in this hidden status but I will delete them all before I export the template for you guys, so don't worry. In the study board, I created basically a study plan and it was a breakdown of everything that I had to study for the interviews. So all of the data structures, the algorithms, all of the system design concepts are here. And then I would kind of go through the theory of each of these um, just to kind of like recap the knowledge. And as I was doing that, I would move them into the studying column. And once I was done studying that certain topic, I would move it to the done column. For example, in this case, this means that I would be studying search algorithms, I guess. <laughs> I think this is nice because it gives you reassurance that you're not forgetting anything. And you can also write down your own notes in each of these cards if you want to have all of your study notes together in one place. I personally didn't do it because I was writing them by hand. I find that it's better for me to memorize and to understand concepts if I take my notes by hand. But obviously, if you like taking them on the computer, then you can do that in Notion. 
binary search is an algorithm to find elements in all log of n. I can't spell. I think you get the point. Moving on to the last one, I have a resource board. This is a board that I created to keep track of study resources and read code problems. So there were a bunch of different read code problems, which I knew would be good to do before interviews. And I knew I had to go through them. So I would put them in here so that I wouldn't forget to solve them at some point. I designed this with tags and with a target date so that I would be able to filter on different categories. For example, if I'm looking for read code problems, I can filter this and only see read code resources. Alternatively, I can check for system design resources, among other things. The good thing about Notion is that everything is personalized, so you can put your own spin on it and you can create your own templates. So you can add your own tags and your own options, your own properties, your own columns, and simply make it work for you. And I guess this is it. This is my job search planner. Feel free to use it. I'm going to make it available as a template and the link will be down below in the description box. If you do decide to use it, it would mean a lot to me if you could sign up to Notion using my CS Jackie link because this will show to Notion that you came from my personal recommendation and that you came to use my own template. This really supports me and it supports my content, so it would mean a lot if you're able to do that but there's no pressure whatsoever. Notion is completely free to use, so you don't need to pay anything. If you do decide to use it and if you share it on social media, please tag me because I would really love to see that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and for supporting my content and my channel. It really means a lot to me. Just got a text. Who's texting me? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I really hope that the guide will help you. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.